This is going to be a video review, product review, unboxing. It's already unboxed, as you can see, of the cinch trap, the gopher trap. It's a gopher trap. It's a mold trap. Uh, I think they, it's the same thing with the uh, gopher, the mold trap. It's, I believe it's just the size difference. I could be wrong, but I don't know if there's much of a difference between the mole and the gopher. They come in uh, small, medium, and large. I think the large is three and a half inches. I believe the medium is three inches, and I think the small is two and a half for the gopher. So right now, if you check my channel, I just did a video on the gopher hawk. I've got that at my mom's house in the backyard set up. Uh, I did a review of that. I'm going to go there in a little while and see if it caught the gopher. I've also done a review of the black box. Um, I didn't catch anything with the black box. What I did is I ended up with a lot of dirt filled up in the box. So the gopher saw it pushed a lot of dirt in there. And I'll get back to the cinch in a minute. The gopher filled it up with a lot of dirt. I talked to somebody who used the round uh, box that goes in the ground and he said he caught the gopher. I don't really know. I don't know if I believe him because you, there's always more than one gopher, especially where he lives. So I don't really believe that. But uh, the black box is supposed to be really effective. You have to dig into the ground, put it in the tunnel. The gopher hawk seemed pretty cool. I, I don't know if it's going to work. It's supposed to work. I've talked to people at uh, gopher trapping companies, uh, raccoon trapping companies that use the gopher hawk and they're very happy with it. And you just pop it in the ground and pop a bunch of those. They cost a lot of money. These aren't cheap either. One of these I think is like 20 some dollars, 24 bucks to buy a set of uh, six or eight is a lot of money. This has been around since the early 1900s. It's supposed to be very effective. Uh, the neat thing about this is if you have the hole in the ground, you shouldn't. I know when you look at their website, they say go dig a bigger hole into the ground and get one of these in the tunnel facing this one way and another facing the other way so you'll catch the, uh, the gopher no matter what direction. I bought this because I've seen a lot of videos. You don't have to, supposedly you don't have to do that. You can open up the hole, stick this into the opening, the wreck, uh, the gopher will go over and hit this thing and it will kill him without having to go dig up your yard. So that's what I'm going to try. Hopefully the gopher hawk caught it. If it didn't, then let me put this on a tripod. Um, sorry about that. If it didn't, then I'm going to set this up in one of the holes and we'll find out uh, what happens. So uh, I mainly bought this to, uh, to do a little test and also to show people to make a simple video that's going to go for two hours on how to, how to activate this, how to set it. If you like my videos, please do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share. Let's make this a viral video. Um, I'm going to leave a, an Amazon affiliate link to buy this in the video description. Click on that and it will take you there. It will help me out. It will help you out. And if you don't want to buy this but you shop on Amazon, click on one of those links before you put an order in. Um, it will definitely help my life out. So, uh, you got a few pieces on here. I watched a bunch of videos and I, I had absolutely no clue, even after watching the videos, like what in the world are they doing? How are they doing this? Why are they doing this? How are they saying it makes it a hair trigger? I didn't understand any of this. I watched one video that says she doesn't have the strength in her hands to activate this, so she has to leave it on the ground. And believe me, this is the medium. This needs a lot of force. I've got strong hands, but I'm not going to take the chance with it right now. So I'm going to set this on the table and I'm going to activate it, I'll show you how to do that, and then I'll explain the hair trigger because I really didn't understand in the video what they were talking about with the hair trigger. What in the world are they talking about? Just made no sense at all to me. So you'll have this on the ground. You don't want to jam this into the dirt. I'm going to push this over to the edge of the table so that I can flatten this out a little bit. Um, again, this thing has massive amount of power in it, so be really careful. This spring, uh, I didn't know how they were saying this was going to really do a number on a gopher. This will do a number on you, so be really careful. They call this A and B. Um, I don't know if, the, okay, I'll show you. So you get this A and B, and then I think this is D, or who, who cares? What, and then you've got this. This is the, uh, their names for this, it doesn't matter. You, you don't need to know the names. What you need to know, I'm going to try to do this in this direction, and then I'll do it from the other direction so you can see what is going on. So you want to take these two uh, dealy boppers and hang them out over the edge. And normally in a video, you'd see them hanging down like this, and they would do this in midair. 
not going to do that right now because this is, you can see, it's a strong spring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my fingers away from that. I'm going to press this down to get this spring down. That's the whole key. you got to get the spring down. And you can see I'm struggling to hold that thing down. There's a lot of force in that. And then you want to take this wire and put it over the top. And so some people hold their thumb over there. This requires a lot of force, believe me. It requires a lot, lot, lot of force. So I'm going to stand up, and then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put this over here, and I'm going to slide this guy. How the heck does this go again? Slide this guy over here. Is that it? And then I'm going to let go a little bit, and let's see if, it, if, it, if that's it. Is that it? Okay, so I'm going to slide this thing in. That's the key right now. So I'm going to slide this thing. You can slide it out like that. I'm going to slide it in, and this hook goes underneath. Now I'm going to get my fingers out of the way for a second so I can show you what's going on here. So the whole idea, when people are talking about a hair trigger, the hair trigger is, I don't really want to touch this that much. The hair trigger is, and when you set this, you want to be holding... I guess they, they always show you want to hold this down. This has got mucho strength on it, so just be careful when you put this on the ground. Um, so what happens is you'll have this guy inside the hole, and the gopher will go through this, trying to get to the end. That's the whole catch of this. Most of these things, the gopher will shove dirt in. The gopher will just walk through this, and he'll touch this thing. And when he touches it, I'll show you that in a minute. When he touches it, this thing is going to slide, this little piece over here on the top is going to slide back. This thing is going to fling forward and this is going to take the jaws and crush him. So when people talk about the hair trigger, I'm going to press down on this again. you got to hold this thing down. You see how I've got that little piece over in the middle? The hair trigger, if you slide this pin further out so it's just right on the edge so the gopher only has to tap this a little bit. Let me show you what that means. So I'm going to put my thumb down on this piece over here. So the hair trigger means you put it right to the edge. See what I'm doing now? Right to the edge so he doesn't really need to do much but barely tap it and this thing will spring back and I want to get that thing on there right now so it's a very tricky trap very tricky trap. And did I do that right? No, I didn't. Let's get that above that. Let's get that above that. Let's get that underneath there. Come on. Come on. Okay, and you want to have these turned a little bit. You want to have these turned so that they are able to activate the right way. Okay, so we got this thing triggered right now. I'm going to show you what happens. Woo, baby. Um, seriously, I'm even freaked out by this trap. I'm freaked out by all these traps because they could really hurt you. They really could. And this is on a table. I don't know if this is going to go flying. But let's say that Mr. Hedgy Hog, let's act like uh, this guy is really a gopher. And I'm going to put him in from the side because I'm freaking out over here. I'd like to hold this down so it doesn't go... I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to pop him in here and let's see if we can activate this thing. Whoa! Come on, come on. Yikes! First time setting one of these off. Craposis. Oh my god. Yikes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Okay, so you heard it, people. God, that was scary. Hedgy hog went flying across the room. Um, believe me, this is. Oh, I'm gonna get a message on the internet. This thing, if the gopher is there, this is gonna do a number on the gopher. There is no doubt about it. 
Yikes. Oh my goodness. That, well, you heard me. Okay, so I'd like to do this from a different direction. Whoo, baby. Okay, so it's just this. I could turn the video around and just show it to you that way, but let me see if I can do this. I don't like having my hand over here. Holy gazoli. Let me just stand on the other side so you can see it that way. Can I back out a little? I can't zoom out anymore. Um, I'm going to stand on the other side and show it to you so you can see it in the other direction. Um, wow. So we're still dealing with the same thing. These two are hanging down. This one's pulled. Where am I looking at that? This one's pulled out. You want to have this thing pulled out. And then you're going to take this piece. And yeah, you heard that. If your hand was there, you would be you'd be going to the hospital right now. So you're going to take this thing and hold it down. And then you're going to take this piece and put it across. Put it across. There's a little gap osis over there. Put it across. Make sure that it's able to do what it needs to do. Hold this thing down. Hold it down. This is the hard part. Holding that down. You got that piece over there. You take this piece, put it over here. Put it against the... Uh, and slide this thing in. Slide it in all the way. Underneath. And now it's done. And so what's going to happen, I'm not going to set that off again, but what's going to happen, whew, my heart's still pumping for that. That, that really, uh, that shocked me. I, uh, wow. So what's going to happen is when he goes and presses on this little thing over here, this is going to slide back, this piece is going to come up, this thing's going to fly out of the way, and the jaws are going to close. And let's see if I can show that to you now. Yeah, we've got that there. So this will happen. He will press on this thing, which will cause this to go back. And when this goes back, you'll see this, this will go flying out of the way. This will go flying out of the way and watch the jaws you can see how much how much is pressure is on here and this thing will go and boom crush it in half and probably just slice it all right people <laughs> man is my heart pumping yikes a mundo i know people do this all the time the reason i did this video i just wanted you to get a, a good view a lot of people do not zoom in when they're showing how to do this and it's really confusing. I'm going to take this to the backyard and set this thing up. Again, the neat thing about this trap is you should only have to... Well, I'm trying to get this on the video. You should only have to put this thing in the hole and extend this in so that it goes into the hole a little bit. Uh, maybe ha you have to enlarge the hole a little so that you can get this in and this in. You don't really want to close up the opening so that the gopher will say, hey, there's air, Some, something's uh, made my tunnel vulnerable, I need to plug it up, and when he goes over there and hits this thing, ba-boom, za-boom, la -moom. Remember, subscribe, like, share, click on that Amazon link. Thanks, off to my mom's house now. And this is going to be the end of the video. I've got the gopher hawk to the left, I've got the cinch trap to the right, I'm not using the box trap inside the other hole. I've got the easy, I think it's the easy set. What is it? I think that's what it's called. Um, he's all in this area over here. I don't know if these are active anymore. I haven't seen him in a while. So uh, um, I'm going to take my chances and see what's going to go on.